Hello again. This is David from Middle Class to No Class in America, and I'm going to be doing some updates to that documentary to let people who have been asking know what's been going on and where things are. And I'm going to do this in segments. And this is the first segment, and this is discussing unemployment. So on unemployment, first of all, I did manage to get unemployment through a loophole in the system. Temps um, at the factory at Frito-Lay typically are not able to collect unemployment. I was because I was not hired under the premise of being a temp. I was hired under the premise of working my way back into the kitchen uh, as a skilled processor, which was my original job there. And I fell through the cracks when they had their layoff. They laid off 96 people. And so based on that, I was able to get the unemployment, which uh, came out to about $244 a week, temporarily. Uh, I believe it was only for about eight to ten weeks of eligibility and then there was an extension that I was eligible for for a few more weeks I think it was another seven or eight the extension I was required to go to an interview with a social worker at the unemployment office and I found it was rather interesting actually because I was there with several other people and it was implied that basically they weren't worried about if we were doing a job search at all. They told us, well, fill these papers out to, uh, to, so that we can verify to the government that you were here and it'll get filed away, and I'm quoting, it'll get filed away for the next six months and then shredded, no one will even see it, so we ain't worried about it. Well, I would hope they would be worried about whether or not we were actually conducting our job searches and complying with the regulations, but apparently they're not. They don't expect anybody to be doing it, so they don't care. Um, I've had a really hard time finding employment, and what it's really come down to is in the fields where I have the most experience and the expertise in, um, management, supervising, um, factories, uh, retail. Um, when they see my credit score now, it's a problem. And I, I understand because from their point of view, a lot of people are a theft risk if they're in a lot of debt and if they're having a lot of financial problems. And just because I say I'm not going to rip them off they have no way of knowing that just on my word. Uh, you know, so there's there's no hard feelings there, I understand. Um, but my credit score being in the situation that it's in now has been a real barrier uh, to finding employment. I did find employment. I went back to work as a school bus driver, which I used to do years ago. And it's difficult and thankless and there's a lot of responsibility and it's part-time I don't think any only cover drivers are full-time but it is what it is I needed the job and I took it so that's fine um, one other note that I wanted to make on this before I sign off on this piece is companies that don't bother to contact you back if I went out for an interview and I was told that we're going to let you know one way or the other. I expect somebody to call me back. It's disrespectful to tell the uh, potential employee, to tell the applicant that we're going to get back to you and let you know if we're going to take you or not and then never bother. And that would be in Topeka. M&M's Mars, the new plant up here, Target Distribution Centers, and Family Video, their um, management program. Interviewed with these people, was told, we're going to give you a call, 
and I said, are you going to let me know if, uh, if I'm not picked up? Sure, no problem. We are going to definitely give you a call back or at least send you an email. No contact. And I even called their uh, human resources departments and said, hey, I just need to know what i got to do next. Um, your office told me that you would call me, and I get blown off. No answer. Um, I don't appreciate that. I don't think anybody does. If you're not going to bother to call anyone back, don't offer to. And uh, that's about all I have to say about unemployment right now, but I'll be posting some regular updates here over the next coming weeks, and I'll also try to answer some questions. I've had a lot of questions on blogs that I followed up on. Some of them are interesting. Um, and a point on the blogs too, if you make a comment that is exceptionally rude or uses a lot of vulgar language, I'm going to delete it. I don't mind someone saying something negative or having a, a question, um, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, but if you're going to be ugly about it, then your post is going to disappear. Um, so I will sign off and we'll be seeing you again soon.